Welcome back, City Skylines players and fans, to Capital City Airport Project. All right, what we're working on today, uh, we just finished up uh, the center area here with these uh, pyramid um, and obelisk uh, areas in the walkway and the elevated bus stops. Um, I did uh, kind of go in and do some uh, decorating in there uh, next to the uh, the uh, lounges and the uh, towers there. Um, did a little uh, decorating. Those are observation towers, by the way, not uh, control towers, um, at least in my, my world. And then uh, created that elevated bus stop. Um, I did post a video on that and watch that see how I did that but uh, it should work um, with dropping people off and they should walk from here all the way down and then come out here to the airport here so it gives another another area what we're gonna do we're gonna start filling in these uh, empty green spaces inside the uh, airport and the reason uh, I was trying to figure out what we were gonna do here because um, I'm thinking this area through here in the central area would be pretty densely packed. Um, somewhat like the downtown area. Um, I think this real estate here would be really uh, sought after. Um, you've got kind of a captured audience here with uh, flights landing and um, um, the parking garages there and everything. And then uh, in our little world here we have uh, this underground promenade going from one terminal to the other on both sides and uh, like shopping mall and everything under here and everything so I would think that this real estate here here um, these four spots here and then obviously this area over here this uh, treatment plant will be moved later on um, I've got our whole uh, plan for all of that and um, and then also I've decided to move this uh, waste uh, recycling plant and uh, I'm moving that too because I've got a, a plan for this area through here too um, that I wanted to play with a little bit uh, to figure out where we're going to put the recycling and everything. So let's get to it. Um, I was originally planning on making this all one video and just doing all of this area all at once but it's going to take a little bit of time to do this. Uh, so I think we're going to break it down into uh, a couple of videos here, and then uh, we are actually wrapping this airport project up. Uh, we'll move on to another section section of the city here uh, shortly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. I decided what we're going to do here. We're going to do a combination of retail and um, residential. And you're thinking residential inside the airport like that? Well, um, yes. I'm just thinking in order to make this work in the game, uh, we're going to need some residential close. So I'm thinking maybe some, uh, uh, there'll be some apartment buildings, maybe just in this segment right here. Um, I may do some over on the other side here, I haven't really decided. Uh, but I think I'm uh, going to do a, a, a small segment here with uh, those apartments. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, um, let's go ahead and put in another parking garage. I haven't decided whether we're going to use uh, or grab the wrong one. Uh, I think this might be a little bit small for what I'm needing right here. Yeah, I don't like that one. So let's go in and take a look at these. Uh, kind of like that one. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the one we're going to use. Because um, I don't want I don't want another real large one but my parking garage nah, I, really don't, I don't think I really like that one um, that one also has the clipping issue 
if, uh, if you zoom out to a certain altitude, it appears. Actually, I think all the floors disappear. That doesn't really fit either. So that's not going to work. Um, uh, this shows the clipping issue, but once you place it, it's, it's the same as these. Once you place it, it's fine. So let's go ahead and do this one. I think this one fits in place nicely. Um, this one and uh, some uh, obviously some entrances I think there's one on the sides here yeah there is so we'll go ahead and anarchy on that the other side, and then there. So actually when the game's running, there'll be cars coming in and out of there, uh, in theory. So it should work. So what I'm thinking here is I'm going to put a couple shopping centers in. And I'm thinking because the real estate would be really high-end. Um, expensive. I'm thinking they're going to be multi-level shopping centers. So uh, I'm going to go into the uh, unique buildings. Are um, they come with the game? I believe they come with uh, a couple DLCs. You got the rail yard, shopping center and the station department store. Um, so I'm thinking both of these in here. Um, that one on that side. Yeah, that one on that side. I don't think it really matters. I think the two of those are there together. Great. Yeah, that works perfectly. Um, yeah, uh, I like that. And then we'll go ahead and let's run it down. Flip around, take a look at this. There we go. Bring this road down and uh, guess we'll bring it right down to the end there. So what we're going to do, we're going to have it come out right here. Yeah, exact 80 to, or 90 degree angle out of here. And have it line up with the road. Although I think we probably will in there 10 units. Back this off and then maybe use the curve tool. Curve that in there. Yeah, I like that. And then, um, I'm thinking that we take this road here come off of here at a 90 degree angle Makes the most sense though, it really does. So we'll leave that right there, like that. Um, and then uh, we have to do something with this road here. So I'm thinking this road would 
down. And I'm trying to think of logically how they would set this up. Here and that creates this little block right here um, even though it's not really a true block because I don't want these roads to connect right here um, that still gives us a little bit of a block there we could put uh, uh, maybe a residential building in there um, we'll explore that a little bit uh, another thing I was thinking with these odd shapes I found this building on the workshop I think it's a planetarium out of uh, Beno Aries. I think that's in Brazil. I'm butchering that. I apologize. Um, and I'm thinking the shape of the building that fits perfectly in this area right here. Yeah, originally I had a plan in my head to go right here, um, but um, after looking at it, that would be too. Yeah, that would be too small to fit in there. We could put a much larger complex or a much larger building in this area right here. So we'll uh, do that. So I'm thinking that would fit in there perfectly, um, and it's kind of got that that shape for this area so maybe we put that little whatever podium or leg of this um, in that corner there maybe um, I think that looks uh, pretty good there and then I'm thinking um, I should know what could go there I can spell, there we go. Thinking maybe, Ooh, it doesn't fit. Almost, but it doesn't fit. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So. And this is a hotel, um, hotel blue. Uh, I believe that's in French. I have blue is spell. It's a French spelling, I believe. So I believe that's probably probably in Paris or uh, uh, one of the other major cities. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so we'll leave that there, and then um, see if we can find building to fit right in there that would match. That would be a residential building. I don't want anything too tall. Uh, it's not too bad. I don't know if that really matches the area. That looks a little, bit, a little bit too high tech for that area, even though it is technically the airport. That's too. 
looks like a con like the beach or something. that yeah straighten that up a little bit and uh, yeah use trusting move it here grab that pull it down just a little bit Just like that. Looks good. And then uh, use paint. Some concrete in there. And just because I'm putting concrete in all of this doesn't mean that there won't be any green areas or grass or anything like that. I just I'm putting because it's a nice filler. It looks good. Like right here, all of this is concrete and grass up there just because I think it looks good there. So uh, I'm just uh, I'm not going to do much detailing today. Just kind of lock the buildings in. Looks clean. Yeah, that looks really good. So we'll leave that like that. So now we just need to find basically uh, another building or two to fit in here. Because um, I do think it'd be pretty uh, a, a really dense area here. Um, I think it would be much space in this area. If you look at the airports, especially inside their uh, their little loops inside their concourse, like Dallas Fort Worth, um, some of the other ones, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty packed in there. There's not many buildings, but this is kind of a futuristic airport with shopping malls and attractions and everything. Anyway, so this is a little bit different situation. Uh, definitely wouldn't be much residential in a modern airport, but this is a future futuristic airport kind of. So it's also a lot larger in scale. Um, so let's see what else we could find in here. Uh, I don't want another residential. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works for this area right here. Yes, uh, because it's a shopping mall. We can technically do parking through here. Um, I guess if we really wanted to, uh, we could do that. Because... Although this is curved here, it could be kind of a, a weird offset here, but we could really do that if we wanted to, though. Or maybe just have a little bit of parking for, like, employee parking or something like that. Do another parking. Do another parking garage right there. I know 
because there's a lot of parking garages, but you know, it is, it is the airport, so, you know, there will be a lot of uh, densely packed, densely packed vehicles um, there, so we, instead of using that, maybe we'll use this modern parking garage here. So I can merge this in with the building. It's kind of weird that it's a different color than that building, but yeah, I don't really like that because it looks like there's a road going through it. So you would think it would have. They wouldn't build it that way. They're putting a road through. So we're going to do that. Um, Yeah, that works. So then maybe have like three buildings right in a row, like they would all be the same owner, or same company. Um, for that matter, we could do. Something like that. That actually looks pretty good. I actually like that. It matches this building back here. It looks like this entire block is owned by the uh, same company. And then we'll go in and tweak this area with the grass or with the trees and everything. Put grass underneath of it and, and do all that. So, yeah, that works good. Um, so, already looks better. And then we'll go in and put trees here, and then maybe, um, yeah, it's way too tall. All the different options we have here. Honestly, I think this building probably fits in here better than this, uh, this other one. I think we're going to take that now. this in. Leave that for now. Um, so I will add two. It does.
not quite sure what the R stands for, but definitely looks like it's something there. Guess we'll, uh, we'll leave that like that. Turn this off. And, uh, yeah, fill that in. Maybe, uh, put some of this grass in here. And then fill some of this in with trees here and here. And then it'll make this a, uh, I guess we could use that as a planetarium. I, I guess it would be like an attraction. Um, so, not sure how it's, yeah, it's set up like as an attraction. So, so yeah, that would be like a planetarium for people to come and visit and learn about the uh, stars and the planets. Um, so, yeah, we'll move on to that. Um, we're at 26 minutes. So I like to keep these right around 30 minutes. So uh, I think we're going to leave it here for today. Uh, actually, we'll go ahead and uh, just plop in this these, uh, grass areas here. Should we will this? So So that takes care of that. Um, oh, very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. For some reason, these uh, these grass uh, parks. Um, there's the four and the two. The smaller roads on the. I think this is Road Anarchy. Uh, or ext uh, road extended networks. I think this is what this is. Add some of these small alleys, and for some reason they'll go under the alleys, but they will not go under the regular roads. Um, so I'm not sure why that is. It's just the way they're they're built. So yeah, I keep forget I keep forgetting that we can use these like this. Um, and actually, with now nah, this takes up about. I was going to move the garage over a little bit, and maybe small grass area along this line here, but now we'll leave that like, like it is. We'll just leave it in concrete there. And then in all actuality, we could probably do, uh, yeah, we could probably do that here. And it doesn't look like there's any doors on this side. So we could probably create this. Damn. So it fills in that extra gap there. Nice green park. Um, maybe put uh, a line of trees in here. may do is move that one over because it looks like yeah there's a bench there yeah, there's a bench over here too actually yeah it looks like there's some doors right there so yeah probably what we're gonna need to do is get rid of this one over maybe the edge of the building yeah. so there that works and then uh, we'll go in here and move this one over to the edge of the building also yeah that works 
dwarves too. Um, so there, that uh, so we weren't going to do much detailing, but we did a little bit of detailing in there. But that looks a lot better like that. Um, and then when you zoom in, it looks like the uh, grass is where it needs to be, the concrete is where it needs to be, and you know, it, it just looks better like that. So we'll uh, we'll do some other detailing here later on. Um, okay, we are at the 30 minute mark, so I will go ahead and uh, uh, end this one. And next time we're going to pick up, we're going to start filling in these other areas here and over here and then obviously we got some area here which won't be buildings but there there will be some other stuff here and uh, over here on this side here so until next time uh, if you have any comments feel free to leave those uh, please hit that subscribe button and um, hit that like button it'll help me out help the channel out and until next time remember do the long game thank you